I'm sitting next to I'm sitting next to that. And then do I walk in? Hi, is everyone ready for a wedding? I swear to Should I do? Should I do top button? No. Am I supposed to be doing something? No, you're not. You're supposed to be just... Just standing here. Just waiting. Yeah. Is this Elias. 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 Natural beauty, you know. <laughs> Can no I never been someone shy until I seen the rise. Still I had to try. Yeah. Oh yes, let me get my words right and then approach. Woman, I'll treat you like a man is supposed to. Mm -mm. You'll never have to cry. No. I know everyone can relate to when they find a special someone. And she's royal, yeah, so royal. And I want to give my life. 
Can I watch it? Can I watch? Can I see? Am I allowed to turn around? The way she moves to her own She has the qualities of a queen. She's a queen. What a natural beauty. No need no makeup to be a cutie. She's a queen. She's a queen. And when they ask what a good woman is made of, she's not afraid and ashamed of who she is. She's royal. She's royal. Oh. I'm crying on you. Can I kiss? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Are you serious? I love it. I love the next one. Huh? <laughs> okay. Let's relax. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's here. I know the king. Everyone. So I never leave your side. So, Lewis, first question, worth waiting for? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Do we have to be saying our names? Let me just copy what she says. Don't okay. swear. Sorry, I'm going to talk. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So welcome everyone to Barry Court Barn on this very special occasion. I'm hoping you can all hear me. I'm never sure if this microphone is working. Yeah. Now we are all here today to celebrate the wedding of Lewis and Catherine and share with them this unique moment as they make a declaration of their love and their commitment to one another. Now it means a lot to Lewis and Catherine that you, their family and friends are here today to witness their ceremony and to offer your love and your support as they start their married life together. Now if I may take a moment for some introductions, my name is Jane and this is my colleague Laura. We are both registrars for Hampshire and it is our pleasure to be here with you in this place which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. Now I have the wonderful privilege of guiding our couple through their ceremony today, whereas my colleague Laura has the far more important job of completing the legal and historical record of this marriage. Now before we continue, I do need to ask our couple to confirm their full names to everyone here present. And traditionally, we always start with our groom. So your full name, please. Lewis Nilsson Fromberg. And our beautiful bride. Catherine Jane Parton Ballantyne. It is reassuring to know that I do have the right two people standing in front of me. <laughs> However, it does lead me on to ask if anyone present knows of any just cause or lawful impediment as to why this marriage should not take place, they should declare it now. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the quietest they'll be all day, so it's <laughs> pretty safe to continue. Now the civil marriage ceremony is the exchange of vows by means of two declarations. In their first declaration, our couple will state that they are free to marry. And in their second, Catherine and Lewis will make their marriage promises to one another. <coughs> now the most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes your world a beautiful place. Being here today is an expression of the love, respect and true friendship that Lewis and Catherine have found with each other. Marriage is a promise between two people who love each other very much and wish to spend their future together. It is making a commitment to share their dreams and memories, joy and laughter, to help and support one another through whatever life brings cause for trust, understanding and encouragement, a willingness to accept each other as they are and the courage to grow and change together. 
to Lewis and Catherine before you are married, I do have to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you are about to make. Marriage is a legally binding contract between two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. It is neither to be entered into lightly nor lightly to be put aside. The ladies and gentlemen, before Catherine and Lewis make their declarations and vows here today, they've asked for a reading. And now I'd like to invite Lawrence to come forward and to take my place. Well, I can't believe how nervous I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Papa, you got this. Right, right, okay. it just does. Um, I can't tell you how happy and honoured I was when, how, when Lewis and Catherine asked me to do the reading. Um, and it didn't take me long to decide uh, what I was going to read, which is appropriate to them both. Um, although it doesn't say it on the order of service, um, this song was made famous by Louis Armstrong, who was my dad's favourite. And my dad always had a very <laughs> special uh, love for Lewis as I'm certain he would have had for Catherine as well. You'll all be pleased to know though that it is a song, but I'm going to read it. <laughs> <laughs> we have all the time in the world, time enough for life to unfold, all the precious things love has in store. We have all the love in the world. If that's all we have, you will find we need nothing more. Every step of the way will find us with the cares of the world far behind us. We have all the time in the world just for love, nothing more, nothing less, only love. Every step of the way will find us with the cares of the world far behind us. We have all the time in the world just for love, nothing more, nothing less, only love. Love. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me do that. Thank you, Lawrence. I love that song. Wonderful. Lewis and Catherine, marriage can be everything your hearts desire. It is your love for one another that brought you here today, and love that will allow it to grow. For love is the foundation of all of life, between parents and children, between family and friends, but especially between two people who commit themselves to each other. This unique bond is both physical and emotional. A promise of loyalty and friendship made in the hearts of two people who pledge to love each other for a lifetime. So Lewis and Catherine, you have found in each other happiness and love. And today marks the start of an exciting new chapter in your lives together. Today is a confirmation of your commitment to one another. And you now wish to offer each other the security that comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. So now I'm going to ask each of you in turn to declare there's no lawful reason why you should not be married to one another. And I would like you to answer I am to my following question. And I'm going to start with you first of all. Okay. So are you, Lewis Nielsen Fromberg, free lawfully to marry Catherine Jane Parton Valentine? I am. <laughs> that was great determination there. <laughs> For Catherine, to you. Are you, Catherine Jane Parton Valentine, free lawfully to marry Lewis Nilsson Fromberg? I am. So now, you are both about to make your vows to one another. You're about to make a promise of commitment. A promise to share your lives together with love, sharing your hopes and dreams, troubles and happiness, whatever the future may bring. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we here are all privileged to be witness to what is at heart a private moment between two people as they commit themselves to each other for the future. So to make these promises now, I would like you to turn and face one another. Hiya. <laughs> You're on it. Okay. Now the words you are about to say, they are to one another and nobody else. So Lewis, as you look upon Catherine, please say these words. I, Lewis Nilsson Fromberg. I, Lewis Nilsson Fromberg. Take you, Catherine Jane Parton Ballantyne. Take you, Catherine Jane Parton Ballantyne. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Lewis, do you promise to love, honour and cherish Catherine, to share laughter and tears with her, and to always be open and honest for the rest of your lives together? I do. <laughs> <laughs> they are the right words. So Catherine, are you ready? Yeah. As you look upon <clears throat> the you say these words. I, Catherine Jane Parton Valentine. I, Catherine Jane Parton Valentine. Take you, Lewis Nielsen Fromberg. Take you, Lewis Nielsen Fromberg. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And Catherine, do you promise to love, honour, and cherish Lewis? To share laughter and tears with him, and to always be open and honest for the rest of your lives together? I do. <laughs> now, those few words you've just said to one another, they are but a few words. But they will be amongst the most important words you'll ever say to one another. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the exchange of rings, which by ancient tradition forms the seal of the marriage contract. And I do believe Elias has the rings for us. Elias. Elias. <laughs> Elias. Elias has the rings for us. Elias, would you like to come over here? Wow. Are they both in a box? You've got another ring on there. Okay. Is this so hand papa? Yeah, yeah. Stand there and then take the rings out and put them onto the palm of your hand. Like that. <laughs> I love the dress so much, it's so cool. I love the art. Thanks. It's so beautiful. Oh, the girls are amazing. Show them to Lewis. Oh, yeah, he's being a good boy. Okay, so Lewis. Can you yes. choose a ring that you think that Catherine would like to wear? <laughs> <laughs> that one. That's lovely. And then you just tie Thanks, babe. No, uh, oh, you've done it already. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Would you like to come and have a seat? Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. One job. Nailed it. Nailed it. Well done. So, Lewis, if you'd like to take Catherine's left hand, place the ring on her finger just down to the knuckle there and say these words. Catherine, I give you this ring. Catherine, I give you this ring. As a sign of our love. As a sign of our love. And commitment to each other. And commitment to each other. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. Care for you. And stand alongside you. And stand alongside you. Now and forever. Now and forever. And it's, oh, it's on already. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. It's> beautifully. <laughs> so, Catherine, you take Lewis's left hand just to the knuckle there and say these words. Lewis, I give you this ring. Lewis, I give you this ring. As a sign of our love. As a sign of our love. And commitment to each other. And commitment to each other. I promise to support you. I promise to support you. Care for you. Care for you. And stand alongside you. And stand alongside you. Now and forever. Now and forever. <laughs> You're a bit hot, babe. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> now may these rings always remind you both of your love and your devotion to one another. And may the promises that you've made here in words today stay in your hearts and your minds throughout your life together. So Lewis and Catherine, may your love for one another comfort, support and encourage you both. May your love be the best part of your lives. May your home be a peaceful place, a haven, where you can listen to your hearts and enjoy the closeness that you share. No matter how busy your days may be, make time for yourselves and for each other. Life isn't perfect and you'll make mistakes. So say sorry, I'm not looking at you, Lewis. <laughs> Excuse me. Make memories, enjoy shared experiences and smile and laugh together. Marriage is not just about finding the right person, but creating the right relationship. 
It's not about how much love you have in the beginning, but how much love <laughs> you build until the end. So dream together and plan together and treat each other as the unique individuals that you are and always remain the closest of friends. And may the coming years hold much happiness for you both. And remind yourselves often of what it was that brought you here to this place on this day. So Lewis and Catherine, the vows that you have made here today are those required by law. And you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of all your families and friends. And it really does give me great pleasure to say that from this moment forward, you are now husband and wife. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, that's the first part of our ceremony over. We've now come to the signing of the schedule and I'll hand over to my um, colleague Laura. I uh, think we'll probably have some music playing, but in the meantime please chat amongst yourself. Would you two like to come with me? end of the ceremony. Before I let these two go, I do have something that I'm sure they want to go home with tonight, just to prove it did happen, in case they wake up tomorrow morning and think, did it happen? Yes, it did. You're married. <laughs> 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 and traditionally, 
I always hand this to our bride. Yay! Oh, thank you. Absolutely. And you can Absolutely. put it in your pocket. I'll put it in my pocket. <laughs> thank you. Now, before I let Mr. and Mrs. Part and Valentine leave, I do Part have Part and Fromberg. Part and Fromberg. 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 I have noticed there's a little bit of a traditional broomstick here yes. for them yes. to jump. Now I'm sure we want a real leap over this Do while play. everybody is on their feet. Okay. Yes. Yes. Can we do like together. a one, two, three? Can we play this song? Yeah. Wait for it. <laughs> okay. Shall we? Yeah. One, two, three. three. We need to go and hide. Get on there. Yeah. <laughs> 